guys. Welcome to our Preps Dead project this weekend. This one's not only fun to do with the kids, but you know, it really could save your life one of these days. We are going to make clean water with two containers and a piece of fabric. Now, how are we going to do that, you say? Well, we're going to enlist the powers of the capillary effect. Or wicking, as we know it in our everyday lives. We all have candles. We all have oil lamps. So we know what a wick does. Well, we also now have clothes that wick the sweat away from your body. And the moisture away from your body and keeps you dry. So we know what wicking is. But what wicking is, is actually the capillary effect. And the capillary effect is simply, not to give you a physics lesson, the ability of liquid to move through narrow spaces and oppose external forces. So what that means is when it's moving through a narrow space, the surface adhesion allows it to move up or out away from its original uh, starting point. So it will oppose gravity, which is the biggest external force that, that it, that's going to occur. When allowing self to do that with our fabric, we're going to take dirty water and use the capillary effect to then make clean water. Now, one downside to this. I wouldn't necessarily grab some water out of the pond, wick it clean into the other one, and guzzle it down. How it does clean the water, it is not necessarily going to remove pathogens. So you do still need to boil it first before you drink it. But I'm hoping that the majority of us are going to be prepared in such a way that that's not going to be an issue. Right? If you have learned anything with Nana Prep, at least be prepared enough to be able to start a fire. Okay, so let's get started. Hi guys, we're back and I'm all set up. I've got my pond water, all kinds of dirt and crap in there. And I tell you, earlier when I did this, I was using a piece of sheet because I couldn't find a white t-shirt. And it doesn't have to be a white t-shirt, but I just wanted it to be white. And I think the fabric must have been too dense. I think it would have done what I wanted it to do eventually, but for this demonstration, it was just going to take too long. So I am going to assume because you watch my channel, everyone is going to have a first aid kit. And in that first aid kit, you're going to have gauze. Now I'm going to open mine up here. Get mine out. Because really, gauze is going to be the quickest way to get this job done anyway. Because it has the widest passages for your water to go through. All right. Regular, plain old gauze should be a standard in everybody's first aid kit. All right, we don't need much, okay? You just need, oh, depending on how high you're set up. We're going to go with about that much, okay? And we're going to cut it off. All right. get back to that later. All right. We're going to stick this down here in that water. And we're going to stick that there. Mm 
Now, it's going to take us about an hour for this to, to go and finish the process. Of course, it depends on your fabric. It depends on how much water you've got. So I've got some canning to do in the back. So I'm going to be buzzing around. And don't worry, I'm going to speed things up for you so you don't have to sit here and watch this for an hour. Um, but just know that that's about how long we're going to get. So, all right. We'll see how much water we have after an hour. All right, here we go. I lowered this one a little bit because I think it was just a bit too high. And it was because, look, I've already got some water in there just within a few minutes. That's what I did. There's the capillary effect in progress.
Alright guys, it really hasn't been an hour, but my back hurts so I need to sit down and to be perfectly honest, I think I've proven my point. Now you'll notice, I did a couple of things in the middle. My dirty water was a bit too high. Although the wicking effect will resist external forces, it will only do that to a certain degree. If you look up the capillary effect or the wicking effect, you'll learn that it was discovered by uh, Leonardo da Vinci, one of my favorite dudes. And when he discovered it, he indeed discovered that the water, when put in a tubular object, rose, but only so far. So we just lowered it a little bit. Also, my piece of sheet would have worked. A bandana will work. Any fabric will work. I chose gauze because it was going to work faster for this demonstration. Plus, all of you should have that on you. If you are in a bug out situation and you are on foot, not only am I going to expect you to be able to build a fire, but you need to have a basic first aid kit, which should include, include gauze. So let's see what we got. Let's drop that right down in there. Look at that. Now remember, you're not going to want to chug this right on down. Even though you may be in a situation where you really want to really badly. You're going to want to bring it to a boil first. And you know what? Don't let it boil too long. You don't want all your work to get evaporated into the atmosphere. Five minutes should do the trick. Starting that five minutes after the boil starts okay and and that's a rolling boil and what a rolling boil is it's a boil that cannot be stirred down if it starts boiling and you stir it and it quits boiling for a second it's not time it's not time to start timing it if it starts boiling rapidly you stir it it continues to boil and doesn't quit that's a rapid boil that time you start your five minute timer let it boil five minutes take it off immediately let it cool and have yourself a drink so I hope you learned something um, this is an old Girl Scout project um, survival category so it's a fun project for the kids build a fire outside get an old pot have them get some dirty water and have them make it clean and be able to drink it. So, here's to saving your life one day with the capillary effect. Nana prep out.